Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, acne positivity and just making you feel your most confident in your skin. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you've watched none of my videos, this one might be the best one for you to watch, especially if you've been following me along with my acne, my skin journey, my hormonal imbalance. If you don't already know, I have struggled with acne kind of my whole teenage years and then that's kind of transpired into my adulthood. I'm currently 20 two years old and although my skin has always fluctuated I've always kind of dealt with more acne prone skin I did have a full journey when it came to hormonal birth control I got on hormonal birth control when I was 18 I was on it for two years and I have never felt more out of body than when I was on this medication so I decided to come off of it and that's what led to a huge flare-up all over my face I had acne covering every inch of my face and it was just like inflamed cystic acne that really transpired from the hormonal imbalance and the shock that my body went through from coming off the birth control. Don't regret it one bit because I instantly felt back like myself mentally and physically too. I felt like I didn't even recognize my body while I was on hormonal birth control. And I wanna talk more, you know, not only on this YouTube channel, but also on my podcast, Loud Talk with Lavi, that's a separate channel, more in depth on you know, my experience with birth control, what birth control even does to the body and all of that. But that was a little bit of a background there. The purpose of today's video though, is I wanna talk about all the lifestyle changes that I have made recently within the past one to two months that I'm implementing in my day-to-day -day routine to help with my acne as well as my hormonal imbalance and get my skin as clear as I can and just maintain that. Now I talk a lot about acne positivity and normalizing acne and acne prone skin. But the thing is that a lot of you guys say this as well, acne is a sign that your body is, you know, needing something. It needs help or um, you do have an imbalance or there is something that you're missing and I totally agree with that so although I'm trying to normalize just the feeling of having acne because it can be such a difficult process to go through there are also things that you should be doing to kind of figure out what's going on and I want to share with you guys today things that I've implemented into my routine to just help my skin along the way and also heal my body and my hormonal imbalance from the inside out. So I have a compilation of things from skincare, um, health and fitness, hair products even, which we're gonna get into today, literally so many things. And I have a full list. I did a lot of prep for this video to get everything, you know, organized all in one for you guys so that we can get through this. Just with all the lifestyle changes that I've made recently that I wanna share with you guys. So first um, big change is my health and fitness journey. I wanna talk about this because I actually got a fitness coach um, about a month ago, a little bit over a month ago. I've been with her for a bit and she's from Lift Up Coaching. Her name is Laura. She's actually based out of the UK, so everything we do is virtual virtual but I really wanted to get a coach just to kind of help me with my fitness journey because I've always been inclined um, you know I've gone to the gym kind of inconsistently but what I really struggled with was just sticking to a routine in that aspect of my life you know when it comes to like school work I'm so disciplined and I have so much structure but there's something about the gym that I I don't know there's something about it that I just needed that extra nudge with and in addition to that, I really needed help with my diet and just organizing my meal structure so that I'm giving my body what it needs. And then also kind of helping me with eliminating certain foods and categories so that I can see how they affect my hormonal imbalance and how it affects my skin as well. And kind of finding those acne triggers for myself. So I want to talk about the fitness side of things first. We brought it down to four workouts a week. I told her that I want to kind of start cycle syncing with this a bit as well, listening to my body and what it needs because for example for me if I need to do heavy intense workouts the first few days of my period I am in so much pain so I'd rather do low impact exercise that actually helps me with that you know cramping and everything like that during that time so she's been super flexible with that so we have four workouts a week um, that are helping with strength training and building my muscles but we've also integrated a lot of walking so my goal every day is to do 8,000 steps and one thing that has helped me so much with walking um, and not only just like my health, but also my mental and everything has been getting a walking pad. So I got a walking pad off Amazon. This one I've actually had since maybe like 
May, June. I got it a while ago and I absolutely love it. It's one of my best purchases I've ever made. It was an investment. I'm not going to say it was cheap. That, you know, when I had to buy the standing desk as well that goes up and down. It was an investment, but holy has that changed my life so, so much because I can use it while I'm working. I can easily now get so many more steps in than what I was before because let's be honest, like we get busy, especially when it's cold out. No one really wants to go out on a walk, especially a long walk, you know, so that you can actually get those steps in. But with my walking pad, I can sit down, well, not sit down. I can stand up, work and walk for a couple hours. The time flies by and boom, just like that, I got my steps in. So the walking pad has been such a great addition and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I've also integrated swimming into my life. I did this because I needed like more movement, more cardio. So aside from the walking pad, I wanted to have another exercise and I'm not a big runner. I don't like running actually at all. Not even that I'm not a big runner. I, I hate, I despise running. I get why people like it, but it's just not for me. So I was like, you know what, what would I enjoy doing? And for me, that is swimming. I actually really, really enjoy swimming. And I was really excited to integrate this in my routine. So we did it. And I swim once a week now. My goal for 2024 is to swim um, a thousand uh, meters every single week, which takes me about like 35 minutes. So I'm going to just start doing that every single Friday. And I'm really excited, you know, to see how it keeps helping me. And just that movement in general is so good for your health, especially that low impact uh, workout is so good for your cortisol levels and in turn that can also help reducing those hormonal spikes opposed to high intensity workouts. Now let's kind of move on to diet changes that I've been doing recently. So actually since last February, I completely cut alcohol out. I do not drink at all and that was a personal choice because I noticed that every time I drank, I always broke out and anything that really, you know, touches my liver makes me break out. That is a correlation I found. Anytime I get sick and have to take Tylenol, I break out um, anytime I would drink on the weekends, I break out. And that was another reason that I was so hesitant um, and kind of against Accutane for me personally. I did a full podcast episode. Um, I can't remember the episode number, but it's on there. It's on Loud Talk with Lavi. I did a full podcast on why Accutane isn't the solution for me. And um, I talked a lot about, you know, all the ins and outs there, but I just found that correlation for myself that when I drink, I break out. So I'm like, you know what? I don't even really like drinking in the first place. So let's just cut this out completely. And not only, you know, am I seeing that improvement in my skin with that, but just as a lifestyle choice, I enjoy it so much more because I personally don't like staying up late. I hate the feeling of, you know, waking up hungover or even if I've had like a drink, I always feel like crappy the next day. So for me, cutting that out was such a good, you know, lifestyle change. It saved me money. It's amazing. I. I do not regret that one bit and it's almost been a year. And then in terms of my diet, you know, I'm trying to avoid um, dairy as I can. I do a lot of dairy substitutes. I have been integrating food before my coffee and also reducing the amount of caffeine I have in general. But if I am gonna have coffee that day, eating breakfast before is so important and having a high protein breakfast. I've integrated breakfast like chia seed puddings, protein pancakes, um, eggs uh, on toast, like something like that, that's high in protein that gets me going and fueled in the morning. And then I can have my coffee or caffeine after that. I have switched to a lot of matcha lately, which I really, really love, but that has been a something that has helped me a lot. And then one thing that I'm definitely trying to do every day is of course, drink lots of water. I recommend getting a water bottle that you love. I know everyone says that, but for me, a water bottle like this with a straw has me drinking so much more water throughout the day. And then last but not least, I'm trying to lower my sugar intake, which is hard. I have a huge sweet tooth and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, but I always notice that when I eat too much sugar, I break out and that is just due to like spikes um, and all of that. So I'm trying to not only lower sugar, also just eat a lower glycemic diet in general. Um, I can go more in depth than that if, in a future video if you guys want to hear more about my diet changes. But I wanted to give you the overall scoop of kind of what I'm trying to do to um, see how it affects my skin and a lot of this, you know, we're gonna be doing a lot of trial and error eliminating one food group at a time and seeing how it affects me But that's kind of the gist of it And the next thing that is part of my fitness journey that I've been working really hard on the past Probably like four or five months that I want to take into 2024 is my sleep Sleep is so so important for recovery Healing and when it comes to your skin, you know, if you deal with acne, you need the sleep 
to give your body what it needs to recover. It's also so just important for regulating, you know, your body every single day. So my goal is obviously getting eight, if more, not more, eight to nine hours of sleep a night. But the most important thing, and there are studies that back this, are the fact that sleeping between certain hours of the night is so important you know you always hear about the circadian rhythm it is so essential and for me when i go to bed past midnight no matter how much sleep i get i feel way more low energy the next day than if i went to bed at like 9 30 10 p.m and woke up around like 6 or 7 a.m so getting in that cycle has made a huge difference for me even on weekends i try not to stay up too late because then it just like throws everything out of whack but having a consistent sleep schedule and waking up at the same time every day has helped me so so much and just regulating my body healing and me feeling so much more energized so that has been a huge thing that I'm really happy I've um, stuck to and it's definitely changed you know my overall mood my hormones like so so much I just feel way more energized like at all points throughout my cycle and speaking of my cycle you know I'm trying to learn the most I can about it because obviously that impacts you know my skin as well I break out at certain points in my cycle like we all do I think and um, after getting off of the birth control pill um, I switched to natural cycles which is the only I think FDA approved non-hormonal birth control so it is a um tracker where you track your cycle but it actually is pretty accurate because you take your temperature at the minute you wake up every single day and then it can um figure out where where you're ovulating based on your temperature because your temperature your basal temperature increases slightly during ovulation so that's what i can do and to help with that because i was so bad at tracking my temperature every day i did get an apple watch this was a great investment for me this year you know it was pricey but i use it so much so not only can i track you know my fitness in here which is awesome i can track my sleep in here so i can see like when am i waking up during the night am i getting enough sleep all of that and then it also takes my temperature for me the second I wake up and naturally puts it into natural cycles. So that way I don't have to worry about it and that way I'm tracking my cycle naturally. And it's just good because then, you know, it's reliable, but you can also kind of learn more about your body, your hormones, and where you're at in your cycle, which you can kind of start to learn more about in terms of your day-to-day -day routine. So that's been um, the biggest updates there in terms of like body and all of that that I've been doing because you know mind body health like it's all connected and my sleep fitness levels and diet definitely definitely affect my skin so I definitely want to share that with you guys okay let's switch it up a little bit let's talk about some beauty products first and then we'll get back into some supplements I've been taking and all of that first off I want to talk about hair care because I didn't even realize how much your hair care can actually, you know, impact your skin and your acne. So for the last month or so, I've been using Scene. This is a hairline um, curated by a dermatologist. Her name is Dr. Iris Rubin, and she designed Scene to be hair care that is also skin safe. So if you guys don't know, a lot of your hair products can actually contain ingredients that can irritate the skin, clog the pores, and you know, when you're washing and rinsing out your hair products, this stuff affects your skin and it gets all over. And your skin is the largest organ, so it can affect your, you know, if you get body acne on your back or your chest, and of course your face as well. And this can lead to things like acne, eczema, irritation, dryness, and just other and even like fragrance sensitivity that can show up in the skin. So that's why Scene was created and this is a vegan hairline. The ingredient lists on this are actually so short, which is the first thing I noticed. And I've been using these, as I said, for about a month, but let me show you guys my first impressions with these products first. And then I'll talk about my thoughts, you know, that now that I've been using them for a while. Okay, so one of the first things that I wanted to look into changing into my routine was my hair care. Um, I honestly, you guys always ask me about my hair care. I kind of just like switch it up and use whatever shampoo, conditioner, hair products that I just have around. But lately I've been really looking into this brand called Scene and they make hair products that are actually good for your skin and they're like acne safe 
hair products. So they're actually made by a dermatologist and their hair products are made so that they shouldn't clog pores. I have their shampoo and conditioner. They're made for all skin types. They're also color safe, it says, and they're gluten-free and vegan. So that's really cool. They're supposed to be non-irritating, non-comedogenic, so they won't clog pores. And then they're formulated without sulfates, silicones, phylates, paraben dyes, or animal testing. And if you can see, like this is the ingredient list right here. It's like really short, like sweet and short. And same with the conditioner that's like actually even shorter of an ingredient list which is really really cool that you know it's such a simple formula so i'm really excited to start using these in my day-to-day -day hair routine my hair is like back right now because she hasn't been washed in a minute so i'm gonna actually hop in the shower and wash my hair and use these products out i want to test them out for a little bit though before i give you guys my review but i thought i'd hop on and turn on the camera for the first impressions and then i did also just get their magic serum this is the skin caring magic serum it's supposed to be for all hair types and you just apply it to uh, dry or wet hair so i'm gonna apply this when i'm styling my hair so let's just go ahead and try these products out. All right guys, so I just washed my hair and let me say that I really enjoyed the shampoo so far. Usually I do like two shampoos and I did that say two, but I honestly felt like after the first one, my hair was so clean. You guys saw the slick back butt I was rocking today. And then I put the conditioner in. Um, it feels good so far and it smells very like fresh. It's not anything too overpowering. It just smells like fresh. So I'm gonna let this air dry for a bit and then I'm gonna blow it out and I'll apply the serum when I do that. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished styling my hair. I'm just gonna take three drops of that. So this hair serum is supposed to lock in moisture, control fridge, nourish and strengthen the hair um, and protect it from heat styling and breakage. Awesome. I'm gonna keep using these products from scene and I'll update you guys very soon. Okay, so I only wash my hair about once a week So that's probably why you're like you haven't gone through that much But from like the four times that I've been using this I'm really impressed with these products first off the shampoo You do not need a lot of product at all and this cleanses my scalp so well like so well and as i said i only wash my hair once a week so by the end of the week like i got a lot of product in there i got hairspray i got gel i got all of that and this stuff cleans my hair so well with just one wash so i really really enjoy that but it doesn't leave like my scalp irritated it doesn't irritate my skin um any of that and i don't feel like there's any like film on my skin because sometimes that you can feel that with hair products and then the conditioner is really nice too it leaves my ends feeling pretty nice my hair gets tangled really really easily so i'm always hesitant with conditioners but this one actually leaves my ends feeling pretty um, nice and like hydrated and smooth so I really really like this routine these are just such like minimalistic but well-made products that they don't affect the skin so I'm like hey if my hair care is having any part in irritating my skin I want to remove that any risk there and just switch to a product line that I know for sure won't irritate my skin and won't you know put me back in my journey anymore so I'm really liking those products and then along with that I've also been testing out the magic serum this is the skin caring magic serum this is really nice because again like a lot of hair products can just leave that residue especially leave on products that's even worse because you're leaving them on even rinse off products can leave that residue but leave in products can can definitely be something you want to look into and how it's affecting your skin so this is really nice i've been using this quite a bit but you can apply it to wet or dry hair you just take like two to five drops of that the first time i used this i used way too much and i learned that very quickly you literally need the smallest amount but it does give my hair a really shiny look to it so i don't know i've been trying this out i do enjoy it i do want to say thank you to scene for sponsoring today's video i'm so happy to work with a brand that i truly love and this has been a new essential part of my um hair care routine and i wanted to share with you guys as well and i do have a discount code for you guys to save some money if you're interested in scene products i'll put it here on the screen also down below in the description box if you want to save some coin but yeah these have been a great addition to my routine lately all right now let's talk some supplements because there are quite a few that I definitely swear by. First off, metal. I talk about this so much and this is what really, really helped me go from like super inflamed, crazy skin to it a lot more calmed down. I think nettle had a huge impact on helping me regulate my hormones. You guys can look into the research, but this has helped so much with people with PCOS and other, you know, hormone, hormonal imbalance issues. Um, this is just really great, especially if you are high in androgens, which when I came off the birth control, that's definitely what was going on with my body. Um, I don't take these on a daily anymore because right now I am testing out 
Clear Stem, which is a hormonal balancing um, skin supplement. This has vitamin A, which is, if you don't know, Accutane is also vitamin A. This is just at a lot lower of a dosage. There's turmeric in here, which is an amazing anti-inflammatory um, ingredient. Dandelion, which is also really great for hormonal imbalance and liver support. We also have a DIM and vitamin B5 in here. Lots of great stuff that helps out with hormonal balance. I'm on my second two of this. I am gonna film a full video just on clear stem and my thoughts on this but so far so good i'll see you know as time goes by to see if it really helps my skin and i'll keep you guys updated but i have really been liking this um i believe i have a code for this as well if you guys are interested it will be down below in the description i also want to talk a little bit about canzita so gut health is super important and a lot of people when coming off birth control experience a lot of you know just all over the place issues with their gut health. So I turned to Kenzita. I took these a lot last year. I took all three of their um, set. They have the multivitamin, the prebiotic, and the cleansing. I took all three and I do really think they just helped with my body overall. A really great brand to look into. Um, I have a code with them as well. All codes and stuff like that and links will be down below in the description if you're looking to save some money. But I am taking a break from these right now just to really see if Clear Stem alone helps me, but then I'll bring these back into my routine because this really just helped my gut health and overall just like giving my body what it needs. So I really enjoy this brand. And then I want to talk about some of the teas I take because teas have become an integral part of my routine as well. So every night actually I have a spearmint and nettle leaf tea. So even though I'm not taking my nettle supplements anymore, I'm still getting my, you know, nettle dose um, in these tea bags. And I always have these teas. I have one right now. This is my favorite blend to do at night and this has not only helped me with hormonal balance, spearmint is so, so good for that as well. I recommend, you know, when you're cramping or at different stages of your cycle, grab a spearmint tea and it literally is so good for you. And I just put the metal in there too. Sometimes I have them separate if I have time throughout the day to have two teas, but usually I just make my little acne skin supporting tea concoction here and have it at night. And what that actually has also helped me do is take time to relax and unwind at the end of the night. One of my goals and you know with throughout this journey is decreasing my stress levels as much as I can possibly because stress believe it or not in my opinion is like the number one cause of acne. You know obviously you know your pores being clogged and overproduction of oil can cause acne but when you stress your body just goes into flight or fight and I think People can become sick because of stress. Your body can go through so, so much because of stress. And as a university student, I'm taking a dual degree in school right now. I work full time as a content creator. My life can be very, very stressful. I'm now a business owner too. So there's just a lot. And a lot of those times the stress can just become way, way too much. And it has been so essential that I make it a, you know, I become dedicated to taking time to make sure I'm de-stressing in my everyday life because then that will help my body it will help how I'm feeling and in turn it will help my skin as well so that has been something I'm really working on and to do that I have been dedicating you know 30 to 40 minutes of my night of downtime to unwind from the day because before I would literally just like finish work and go straight to bed and I'd have no time to unwind I would be sitting in the bed thinking of what I have to do tomorrow and just stressing and it would just not be good not it's never good for you and that's why like I break out during final season and stuff so it's so critical to be kind to yourself during those stressful times and every night you know 9 p.m hits I am done with work I hop in the shower I you know do my whole routine and then I take 30 to 40 minutes in bed to just de-stress and unwind and have some time to myself so I've been having you know my tea um to just you know sit drink this relax this has been an awesome way to kind of unwind at the end of the night and I always feel like tea and a hot drink makes me fall asleep faster so that's awesome and then what I've been doing is some high frequency therapy I don't know if this is like proven to work i know a lot of people go back and forth on if high frequency is good but it's given me excuse to just take some time to myself and unwind so i use my high frequency one this one's from project d beauty but i use it every single night for about like 10 to 15 minutes all over my face it's really relaxing even just the feeling of like massaging your face with it a little bit is really nice so i disinfect it with a little alcohol wipe every night and do this right after cleansing my face and it even has a little scalp attachment so I do a little scalp treatment with it it's really relaxing and in my mind I feel like it always helps me with those big painful cysts so I keep using it but I don't know I 
I don't know that this is like healing my acne necessarily, but I love the practice of doing like self care and skincare. So I have been using that every night. Like I said, it's after I cleanse. So let's get into some of the skincare products I've been loving recently. I always make sure to take off any makeup or sunscreen at the end of the night. Even if I'm, again, not wearing makeup that day, I have sunscreen on my face, I have buildup and oil, so I use an oil cleanser first. Whether that's a cleansing balm, I have a lot of favorites. I like this one from Juno Skin, I like the Benefit one, I like the Elemis one. There's so many great cleansing balms out there. Um, or I'll use a micellar water. This I'll definitely use if I'm like being a little more lazy or just like need to get to bed real quick. I'll just use a wipe and a micellar water because this doesn't irritate my skin. I'll never use a makeup wipe though, so that's why I turned to this as my like lazy option. And then I cleanse my skin at night with a nice, you know, soothing cleanser that's effective. I love this one from La Roche-Posay, the Tolerant. I also love the It Cosmetics one. Olay made a sensitive skin one recently that I've really been enjoying, so cleanse my skin. And the next thing that I've recently integrated into my routine that I think is going to really help is using these biodegradable, I know everyone uses these on TikTok, but these biodegradable clean towels. Um, there's 50 in here. I get them off Amazon and they're just little towels. So I keep these in my bathroom and instead of using my bathroom towel, I just use these because bathroom towels can be so gross. And if you think about it, you're wiping your hands on them. They collect dust and bacteria and they're just like a burrowing space for bacteria. So this way, you know, this is like in this little box, I grab a towel, you know, pat my face dry and then I just throw it out and move on to the next. And they are biodegradable. So um, I don't think they're that wasteful. And although, you know, it is a lot to be spending money on these and everything, I think this box was about $20, but there are cheaper dupes because I ordered one today for like $13. It's just like a, a dupe on Amazon. It is like a bit of an investment to be buying these all the time because there's 50 in here, but I think it's worth it if you don't want to be contaminating your face anymore and kind of, especially if you have a lot of active breakouts at the time, this might be something that is really helpful. So I've been using that. I only cleanse my skin at night though, so I don't even use them like that that much. And then in terms of my skincare, I've been really focusing on exfoliation and hydration. So exfoliating and regulating my, you know, oil production, um, exfoliating the skin, going deep into the pores, all of that with AHAs, BHAs, um, ingredients like that. And then restoring the skin and bringing that hydration back and making sure my moisture barrier has everything it needs. So some products I've been liking for exfoliation have been this serum from Pharmacy. This is strong, guys. I only use this about three times a week, but it's a 17% resurfacing acid treatment. It has AHAs, BHAs, and succinic acid in here. and also has honey, so I've really been liking this for that deep exfoliation. In terms of my scarring and stuff, I've also been really enjoying this Cococine Chlorophyll um, Serum. It's a green serum, but I really, really like this. And I, I love it under makeup too because it's nice and sticky. So I've been really enjoying that. And then I've been loving this um, Cell Renew Stem Cells and Hyaluronic Acid from Clear Stem. It's just a nice hydrating serum. And I've been using it a lot just in my morning routine. It's very nice. Um, I just use it morning, night, whenever. It's just a really nice hydrating serum. And then for moisturizers and such, I've been using just nice, simple moisturizers. I've been using this one from La Roche-Posay lately. And then for sunscreen, I usually just use Face the Day from my brand 9 to 5 or the Restore the Night Cream at night as well, depending on what I'm feeling that night. But I've been keeping my skincare very simple. You know, exfoliation, hydration, moisturizer, sunscreen. Very, very simple. And a few things that I've kind of swapped out. I've been integrating hypochlorous acid into my routine. I have this one from Tower 28. This one is a little bit pricey. You can get dupes on Amazon for sure. But I just go ahead and spray that. It's super quick and easy. And hypochlorous acid is awesome because it literally kills like all acne burning bacteria and it's not irritating for the skin it gives such a nice refresh it's so so good so i've just been using that um i keep this in my backpack too i spray it at school i love it i love it so good i think we covered everything i laid everything out and i'm looking now i'm like i think we covered everything so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a bit on the longer side i just had a lot to say because I think I made so many changes recently and I wanted to update you guys and everything and take you along this journey. Um, I'll probably do an update video in a couple months if you guys are interested. But yeah, main things, you know, health and fitness, my sleep, de-stressing, consistent skincare, my supplements, and then swapping out my hair care as well for these products from Scene, which I've really been liking. Again, I'll have the discount code for Scene on the screen here and also in the description. Sparky's getting really impatient with my talking, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know. Oh, you're set. 
Let me know if you did by giving this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on a future upload. And if you are wanting to check out more of my content, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Lavinia Rosanda and my podcast, Loud Talk with Lavi, for more long form content. We post every single Sunday on there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day or night whenever you are. Remember to tell yourself something you love about your skin today because that is so, so important to practice that. That's also a number one thing that I just said. Practice self-care and self-love every single day. It is so important. But with that being said, hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Tell me baby, what's the problem? Cause I get trying to